be playing Hero. Very interesting pick. Now, in terms of how both these characters operate, Yoshi is very high mobility, huge damage in combos that kind of go on forever, and a really good disadvantage state. Hero's kind of the opposite. You know, he has some disjoints, but also pretty slow, and doesn't really have big combos. Instead, it hits you once, then hits you twice, and that's all he needed to do, because his damage output is so crazy insane, and this character also has some of the best comeback potential out there in the game. Just, you know, because if he gets lucky and gets the right move when he needs it, who boy does it make a difference. Anyway, as things progress, we actually have a pretty even, this is dead even actually right now, and that bounce could be pretty useful. At the very least, it shuts down Suarez from throwing out his eggs, which he normally loves to do. I uh, actually heard the beginning of the egg like goes immediately for it again. That time it works out, and expiring that bounce means, yeah, you can use those eggs to possibly ledge trap, but oh, a high commitment grab. That's the kind of option you throw out when you're very confident that your opponent is going to be in the corner. What a beautiful, I believe PS2 is actually the only stage. Okay, cool, just even it up immediately. Um, but it's the only stage where Yoshi's up smash will cover every tech option. Um, so you have to be really careful when playing against Yoshi because eggs will pop you right up for that t forced tech, at which point you have to be very, very careful. Ooh, good get up attack actually to try and uh, alleviate some of the pressure. Look at this right now. Suarez already taken about 38%. He's been getting those egglies so consistently, and one of the reasons why is because it's kind of one of Yoshi's only disjoints. You know, he has to get a lot closer in order to land any other aerial. Okay, he went for that neutral flare. I really, oh, sorry, the down air rather, the auto cancel down air. I like that because normally when VV, you know, has Accelerado, he likes to be zooming around all over the place and having a long lasting hitbox that just shuts down anybody jumping without, you know, an aerial. Really good idea. I agree. <laughs> Hi, numbers. <laughs> <laughs> Howdy. Um, anyway, as this game here is progressing, once more bounce in effect, meaning that Suarez, and it's also one of those things where bounce is really good, not only in the neutral, but in the disadvantage if you're uh, Vivi, because eggs are really good for following up on things and also for ledge trapping. Absolutely. So. Uh, Vivi will have a lot more room to uh, get out of a juggle state or an edge guard if he's got bounce already active. But yep. these eggs are just coming from every direction. Yeah, <laughs> but he had, wishes he had bounce right now. But does it need it? Beautiful job. Going to be closing out that stock. All right, Vivi now only at 72 and Accelerado in play, meaning that he could possibly get some really nice combos without having to worry about dying immediately. Okay, yeah, it, it's, it's one of the things. Yoshi's damage output is so consistent. And yeah, like, it's the sort of thing. Hero not really able to follow up off of moves that well. Even landing a neutral air, which is a lot for a lot of characters, neutral air is your combo starter, but Suarez is drifting too far away. I mean, that could work to his advantage. If Hero already doesn't have a combo game, well, it doesn't really matter if Yoshi can escape combos anyway for free. That is true. Yeah, Yoshi has some of the best combo breakers in the game. Between his neutral air, which is huge and does solid damage, comes out frame three, and also just double jump armor. Indeed, Hero's all about those single big hits. Double jump armor ain't gonna hit you, help you on that. Well, Double Jump Armor can help with some of them because there are some multi-hit uh, moves that DV has mm. that, you know, Yoshi's just going to jump all the way through. Granted, there are also the big hits that will just break armor at disgustingly low percents. Big boy hits. All right, last stock for both. Let's see what happens. VV loves to respawn with uh, Kaboom. He will open his menu. If he sees Kaboom, he will just throw it at you. Same goes for Sizzle. Oh. Is he dead? Nice one. I mean, okay, he actually. Gotta use a lot of mana for that, though. Yeah, that is the sort of thing where mana, it, most of the time, it's just, it's kind of like bankruptcy, where <laughs> y y your mana doesn't matter until it really does. Like right now, only yeah. four, only five MP, meaning if he gets knocked off stage, he that could be curtains. Suarez, knowing that, desperate to find a hit, but uh, not actually able to find it. True, but all he needs is one good hit to get some MP back. Vivi plays in a specific way, so he he doesn't really care if he hits you. He cares if he hits you or your shield, because he just wants MP. I've noticed this from playing Vivi so many times. He loves his MP. 
All right, and he's going to be summoning some of that MP on uh, a bounce effect. Nice. And he gets zoomed. Just enough MP for it, too. He is skirting the line, though, even if he does have a good strategy for getting it back. Yeah. Oh, man. There's oh, there oh, it is. Is enough? Wow. That was... He oh, was... Wrong one. Yeah, he was really playing... Uh, Fast and loose with his MP, and at the very end there, there was only at what was he four MP when he actually finally managed to take the stock. Let's see. He gets knocked off stage, managed to get the uh, the one use of MP. Yeah, okay, Ooh. it was at five. But like at those higher percents, that's when it's really scary to have almost no MP because any hit is gonna send you so far out there, and if you don't have the MP to recover, then that's it. You're just done. No, I agree. If you don't have the MP, it's also like at the end of the game, you can't put the fear into the opponent. It's not like, oh, they might just top deck something crazy on me. It's just no. It's not going to happen. Yeah. He can't top deck like that. Not only that, but like some characters at those higher percents, they, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, some characters at those higher percents, you know, they are going to be shielding more. They're going to be more and more careful, which gives Vivi the chance to, uh, you know, get some of his MP back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Vivi has Vivi likes to uh, jump a lot when he's playing hero, and that's specifically so he can just throw aerials. Like Vivi will just try to hit your shield a lot with aerials, so he can get lots of MP. And again, this is just from experience. <laughs> it's like I feel like I lose an interaction every time he hits my shield. I'm just like, oh well, that's another that's another menu for him. <laughs> that's another side B he could be throwing at me. That's another fireball he could just charge at me. Just. Every single hit hero can get on you or your shield. Wow, that was great. Ooh, yeah, that was fantastic follow through from Suarez. Every single hit hero can get on you or your shield just has lasting consequences for the remainder of the game. <laughs> the kaboom just... Yeah. I, the fact that it has the win box, that it sucks you in like it a vacuum cleaner. It sucks clear. you in. Oh, it's no. crazy. You got to be able to read the menu alongside hero so you can get out of the way of those sorts of things. But kaboom... Oh, that one gets hard to get out of the way of. Oh my god, he's dead. He's dead. Don't taunt, <laughs> Vivi. That oh. was that was really big. And despite the fact that Suarez took a really early lead, uh, although speaking of um, early leads, he just took 70. 70 damage. Please don't get down here by Yoshi. All right, here comes Vivi. Loves to run around with Accelerado. Yeah, and oh, I love that jumping with the up air. We've seen that when he gets Accelerado, that's when Suarez loves to start going for down air, just as this anti-air option. But if you jump and throw out an immediate aerial, it will beat out that. doesn't matter how many kicks he has, it'll beat it out. So we can so, really definitely see that Vivi is adapting very well, noticing those neutral habits, sort of the options that Suarez is picking in response to his menu options. <gasps> he read it. He read it. Vivi's out. Vivi's out. What's he going to do? He should top deck Kamikaze, make it a last stock situation. Ooh. What do you oh. think? I mean, how oh. much MP does uh, Kamikaze cost? One. Really? <laughs> uh, that's hilarious, actually. I, I love how that, man, I love that. Clearly defined function. <laughs> yeah, it's to stop people from top decking. What are you talking about? There is no greater feeling than top decking Kamikaze and killing your opponent with it. God. Something I will say, Vivi does have great control over Accelerado. I've tried, I I've tried playing Hero before, and I turn that thing on. I'm just like, I don't know where I'm going. Someone stop this crazy thing. <laughs> it's like, uh, listen, the way to practice it is to enable spirits and then give yourself maximum speed. That's true. You can emulate it to some extent. Just feels so crazy, especially yeah. for this character with like pretty slow frame data, all things considered, to be moving that fast. Not only that, slow frame data and doesn't have long lasting moves. Yes. It's, it, which I think is honestly really good game design. The fact that he doesn't have to, that he can't just like get Accelerado and then just throw out like some long lasting sex kick that can, you know, cover yeah. the entire stage. Well, Nair does cover decent space, but it's not, it's not super dangerous when it hits you. Nair is just more of an annoyance over anything else. We go, Vivi's in a bad situation, but no good. Oh. oh my god, yo, Suarez is scheming. Yo, he's scheming. He doesn't want to lose this game, he wants to get a win. He doesn't want to play any risks here, I can see it. All right. Oh man, but this is where things get really scary if you're Suarez here. Yeah, 96%. There's not much MP on Vivi, but there's just enough where if he top decks the right option, like oh, that snooze! My. Oh, that's so smart! He, oh. he drifted all the way off the stage. That's that, crazy. And that's the sort of thing where for a lot of characters that would be a he's death gonna, sentence. He's gonna, but oh, nice, nice evasion. He, nice. That was really good. That was so good, actually. That I was. Want, I want to go over that for a second. Yeah, that was fantastically played. 
by Suarez. Let's have a look endgame. at this. First the that snooze, was... where he drifted off. Then he's like, oh no, he's going to throw an area. Let me drift out perfectly. And then grab the ledge, of course. That was just crazy. And then BB sees it. This is this is just like a great play from both of them, honestly. Opens the menu. He's like, oh man, no psych up. Let me just put on the bounce so there's no eggs. I mean, and then this is where it all happened because they were both like playing around Flame Slash at this point. Suarez was like, oh, I'm going to space it carefully so it doesn't hit me. And then he drifts straight up. <laughs> gets the spike. Gets the kill. Yeah, no, that Ooh. was really Ooh. good. Ooh. Mm. That tail. I will... Would it have been worth it for him to hold menu and then go for magic burst? Because uh, the option he had before, not he didn't have it here. It, oh, he, no, did. he did have it. He there. had it at 32. That's what I'm saying right there. If he had just like kept the menu on magic burst, that could would that have been like a checkmate scenario? How would Yoshi get around that? Well, Yoshi can double jump armor through magic burst. For how long though? Long enough. Well, no, because eventually you need to <laughs> you need to throw out a move, otherwise you get hit by the last hit of it. Yeah, but you take reduced knockback from the last hit if you're in a Yoshi double jump armor like that. That is true. And at that point, he would have had zero. Yeah, come on, Mr. Yoshi main. I mean, listen, I if I'm Yoshi though, I would just that also means he loses his armor. Uh, he loses his jump rather. He's now off stage without a jump. I don't All know. Right. I, I realize that it's very risky to go for that sort of thing. Here's uh, out of MP. Forget about it. Anyway, final game. Both players are playing excellently right now. Yeah, I'm really liking this sort of... This time it's a lot more of a back and forth. We're not seeing those big low percent combos from uh, Suarez, which I would actually say means that Vivi has the advantage. What I'm seeing is a lot of respect play from both of them. They're both actually terrified of each other right now. You can see, you can see it by the way that they are... Well, not right now because they, Suarez just rushed in. Okay. Yeah, he yeah. went for a deep forward air. Oh! Yeah, you saw that? They're both like using more dodge options and shields instead of, you know, using their usual offensive stuff. They're scared, and for good reason. Both these characters are terrifying. Yeah, and I also like the fact that the way Suarez is recovering is he's going for these deep jumps so that he's not forced to egg in order to grab the ledge. Because, uh, with you know, there are a lot of moves that Hero has that can actually... Uh, oh, like... The egg will extend the hitbox and he can hit him before he grabs the ledge. Yeah. Also, maybe scared wasn't the right word. They're just showing each other a lot of respect. Oh, that go. Wow, he perfectly got over that kaboom. That could have been really bad for Suarez. Oh, an accelerator now in effect. It Let's means see. that, you know, Yoshi normally has the best aerial mobility in the game, but. Oh, ooh. gives him the big boot. I'll mention this accelerator does make you lighter. Oh, no there, armor. Yeah, there's the armor. That was actually really smart of Suarez to jump oh. at that exact instance, but cleaning up Thanks that Thanks for stuff. the sub song. <laughs> he heard the amber. He subbed for the amber alert. I love it. Yo, can we make that the new, uh, the new <laughs> no. Twitch notification? Whatever, you the know, sub like notification. The God, sub no. notification. Just the amber alert. <laughs> yeah, but we make this, this zero death oh. in progress. Never mind. I was going to say make the zero death in progress the sub notification, but BB broke it. But he's still alive. It, <gasps> listen, and a live hero means he still has all that MP to use. Yeah, if anything, he gets MP when he gets hit, right? No. Just oh, really? when he gets hit or hits a shield. See, Psych Up. Oh, anything can happen when Psych Up's out. He'll break his shield. Oh, he could have. That could have been so bad. He is just shielding in front of the Psych Up. And there's the fair up, up air. I love that. Goes for that deep forward air. He had actually been deep forward airing earlier, and VV had just been shielding it. And that's actually how he got some of his punishes in neutral. But that time around, VV tried to run away, give you know Suarez some space, mm. and that's the sort of situation that he was really looking for because forward air to up air is such a good confirm for Yoshi. Oh, that's a big combo. Let's see what happens. Ooh, just shielding in his face. Oh, this is where things can get really bad. That up air at lower percents can lead to so much damage. I like the movement he did right there, but no such luck. Snooze. Oh, my God. Imagine if he crumped out around the snooze. I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah. The forward air. Th by the end of that, it felt like Suarez figured out his win condition. It was those forward air to up airs, and he was just landing them so consistently. And I mean, they Indeed. do. They, they work really well because at those lower per it's like pretty low percent. What was he? One fifteen when he got hit by it. Uh, I think it got comboed into it though. No, yeah, he got, just a raw, he got forward air and into it. Yeah, no, I'm Ooh. saying, but the forward air landed at one fifteen. Oh yeah. Which as far like up smash wouldn't kill at that percent. It's like a really like for 
as far as confirms go, works at lower percents really well. Um, and it can, yeah, John Numbers goes, RIP John Numbers. 